today I thought I would do a quick video of unboxing and reviewing the Primark Character Disney mugs. So unboxing today I've got the Eeyore mug, Genie mug, the Buzz mug and the Flander mug and I'll also be reviewing the Fumper mug and the Marie mug. It's just I've already unboxed those because I bought those a while ago. Okay so let's get started. I'm going to start unboxing with the Eeyore mug. He was actually reduced in store at the minute. He's reduced to three pounds. All the rest of the mugs are at six pounds. I also think the Marie mug might be reduced to three pounds in some stores, but my store doesn't have any of those left anymore. So they never got reduced because they didn't have any. So yeah, this is the eel mug. So originally six, now three pounds in store. So I'm just gonna unbox him and we'll have a look at him. So you can see the box, it says, Winnie the Pooh one, it's got a little picture of Winnie the Pooh. It just says Eeyore mug and it's got the dimensions of the mug there. And then on the bottom, again, it just says Eeyore mug. It says that it's dishwasher safe. It says not to microwave, wash before use. It's got the price on it. And it's also got the dimensions on it again. So let's just open him up. So it's just stuck down in several places with a bit of tape. So take them off. There's three bits of tape on here. I say tape, it's more like a sticker. Circle sticker. So I've got all the sticky off. So open him up. And he just comes out like that. And in the box, it's just a little piece of cardboard, really, that just sits in the bottom. That's all that is. Okay, so that's the box. So let's take a look at the eel mug. So here he is. He's really, really pretty. So the handle is his tail, on his tail he's got a little purple bow. You can see the paintwork isn't great, these are probably hand painted. You can see there, it's a little bit messy but it's not too bad. Uh, again on the tail, there you can see it's a bit messy there, it has got a few little black spots specks on it, I don't know if you can see that's in the actual glaze that one uh, paint work there, it's a little bit messy but it's not too bad considering it's only £6 again on the ear you can see the paint has actually gone onto his face a little bit there and I've just noticed here on this one it looks like it's a bit cracked here um, can you see there's a gap there where there isn't any like porcelain there and there's a little crack in his face uh, I always say this make sure you have a proper look at these before you pick one up because a lot of them do have little faults and also the paintwork is different on all of them because they're hand painted so I've made a mistake there I didn't see that when it was in the box um, it's not too noticeable I mean, I don't know whether to take it back and change it. It's a bit of a faff. I might just keep it. It was only £3, but that is a bit annoying. And then here's the side of the mug. And then that's the inside. It's a pretty large mug. You get quite a lot of tea in there if you want tea in there. And then on the bottom, it just says Disney, based on Winnie the Pooh works by AA is it Milne? I'm not sure and then it's got not suitable for microwave use and it's got a picture of a dishwasher because you can put it in the dishwasher so it's not too bad of a mug he is really really cute it's just it's got a few, few flaws on him that's just yeah it's not too bad he's really cute when he's up on a shelf you're not going to notice the few minor paintwork flaws 
or the little missing part of the porcelain there. I'm quite happy with him for three pounds. I'm not sure how easy they are to drink from. Mm, I don't think it'd be too bad. But yeah, there you go. That is the eel mug. Let's give you a little turn of him. So next we'll move on to the genie mug. Okay, so here is the genie mug. I actually think he's a bit larger than the eel mug, but we can compare them once I've got him out of the box. So again, here's the box on the front. It just says genie mug and the dimensions of the mug. It's got a little Disney sticker up here. And then there you go, there's nothing on there. On the actual box, it's got little pictures of Jasmine, I think, on there, and the genie, and I think a boo's on there, and a boo is an elephant, so it's quite nice. And underneath, it says genie mug, it's got the dimensions, it says hand wash only for this one, whereas the other one did say you could put it in a dishwasher. I'm pretty sure, unless I've read it wrong. No, the other one does say dishwasher safe, but this one doesn't. This one's hand wash only. It's not from be microwaved, wash before use, and then it's just got um, Primark information there. Uh, it's got the dimensions there, and it's just got the price the price sticker there. So let's get him open. He's just got one piece uh, sticker, I think, on him. So let's get him out of the box. Okay, there's the box. You see, it's just got a little bit of foam in there to keep him stable and obviously to keep it padded so it doesn't get knocked around too much. So, yeah, that is the box. It also had a little flap there to keep the um, handle in place as well. Okay, so here he is. This is him from the side. The paintwork looks fine on this one so far. I think there is a little, don't know if you can coming up there, but there's some little white marks there where it's not been fully painted properly. Well, I think the blue. So the black's not been fully painted. And again here he's got like a little my like orange mark which I think has got in the glaze, which is a bit annoying. Uh, the paintwork around his eyes, a bit has gone into there, but it's not too bad. His eyebrows look fine. His earrings not too bad. You can see brush strokes in it here. But I'm not too bothered about that. He's got a black spot here where the paint's gotten into the glaze. Around the handle's not too bad. It's got a little bit of like um, a bit that's been missed, that's not been painted or glazed or like um, sanded down, which is a bit annoying, that bit. You can hear it, it's quite rough. It's a bit of the porcelain that hasn't been painted or glazed. I'm not sure how that's happened. So it does have a few little flaws. Again, make sure you have a proper look at these before you buy them because they're all different. They all have certain flaws. He looks massive in there. I'm not sure how easy it would be to drink from because it's for the ears here. Let's see. Mm, I don't think it's too bad. You get a good size cup of tea in that. So I'll just show you from all angles. This is him from the front from the side from the back I do think he's really really nice for £6 he's not too bad uh, I'm st not happy with that little orange spot that's annoying me a little bit should we see what he looks like in size compared to the Eeyore one 
because I think Eeyore is a lot smaller. If you look at him, he's taller and he's definitely wider. I think as well. So yeah, he he is bigger than the Eeyore mug. Let's have a look at the next one. The next one I think we'll look at is the Buzz mug. Here is the Buzz mug. He's a similar design to the um, Genie mug in shape and, and that. Uh, so on the front it says Buzz Lightyear mug and it has the dimensions. It has a little sticker up here that says Disney Pixar Toy Story. And here's the side. The little cardboard bit at the bottom is with blue with clouds, which is like the Andy's Andy's room's wallpaper, I think, from this movie. So again, he's quite a wide one, like the genie, and quite tall. So on this side, it says Disney Pixar Toy Story Buzz Lightyear mug. It's got the dimensions over here. Hand wash only for this one. It's not microwave safe and wash before use. Just got Primark's information here and it's got your price sticker here. So six pounds for him. And again, he's just got one little sticker here that we need to take off. Got. No, he has three stickers. Genie only had one, he has three. All the stickers are off now, so let's open it up. Again, inside he's got a little bit of foam there to cushion him, and he had this little flap which was keeping the handle in place. So there we go, I just put the box away. Okay, so here's the Buzz Lightyear mug. Again, he's quite big. Um you can see a lot of the brush strokes on his face, but I don't think that looks too bad. The paintwork on his face seems fine to me. I don't see any problems on it. That's it. You can see a lot of the brush strokes on him, but it looks pretty neat there. I'd say out of all of them, the paint job seems the best on this one out of all of them so far. Uh, again, there's a little bit of a defect there with a little bit of porcelain where they've not sanded it down. Um, on the bottom there you can see it says copyright Disney Pixar, hand wash only, not suitable for microwave or oven use. But he looks really nice. I'm impressed, impressed with him, he's not got many, any flaws other than that one really in the paintwork. Uh, his eyebrows are painted on nicely, so I'm quite happy with him. And he is really big as well, so I see him next to the genie mug. They're about the same height. I do think he seems wider actually than the genie. His face. Let's put them side by side. Yeah, you can see he is wider. I think you'll probably get more of a in this one I think it'll be quite fine to drink from obviously you probably have to drink from the side you can't really drink from the front but yeah I really like him actually so far I think he is probably the best one okay so we'll move on to the next one now so the next one we're going to look at is flounder so 
here's Flounder. He's definitely smaller than the Genie and the Buzz. Well, he might actually not be too much smaller than the Genie. He's just a different shape. Buzz is definitely bigger. So this one says Disney Princess. Princesses at the bottom. It says uh, Flounder Mug and it has the dimensions. And it's just got little mermaid scales on it. And then here it's just got like an aerial signature and a little silhouette of Ariel and then again on this side is a little silhouette of Ariel so let's have a look at the bottom so it just says flounder mug and it's got the dimensions this one it says it's dishwasher safe so this one you can put in the dishwasher it's not microwave safe and it says wash before use and it's got Primark's information and it's got the price here so this one you can put in the dishwasher so Flounder and Eeyore can go in the dishwasher Genie and Buzz are hand wash only okay so let's have a look at him so he has three stickers on here to take off stickers off so let's open him up so he doesn't have anything to support his handle he also doesn't have any foam in the bottom to keep him cushioned probably because he's a smaller mug so he didn't need it okay so we'll just put the box to one side okay so here is your flounder mug let's see if any of this is dirt or if it is actually so again, I haven't picked a great one up here. I should have known better. He has a little white spot here. I don't know if you can see here. And again, it is a bit of porcelain that doesn't seem to have been glazed. He's missed it. So that's there. Or it's a bit of something stuck in the glaze, maybe. He does seem to have a few black spots in the glaze as well don't know if that's coming up very well but it's a spot there a spot there and these aren't it's not dust because it's not coming off it's got another spot here it's got a massive spot here and he's got one here one here he's got lots of little black spots here got some more there he has quite a lot of little spots and marks in the glaze. There's a bit here where the paint's gone into this bit. The paintwork here isn't great. It's a bit messy. Same here. It's not great. There's a bit of a fault here. And there's also bit of a fault there as well and all in all I didn't really pick up a very good flounder mug he looked nice in the box but when you actually take a better look at him he does have quite a lot of flaws if he's going to be on a shelf for display it won't be too bad but I'd have to display him this side because he's got all these big spots on this side so yeah I'm not actually that impressed with this one to be honest I mean, if you pick up different ones, they might be better, but this one, not great. But then again, he was only £6. I actually have noticed there, some of the yellow has come into the blue as well. And then there you go. He does seem smaller than the Buzz and Genie mug. I'm not sure if he actually would get a smaller cup of tea in there as well. And then on the bottom, it just says copyright Disney. It's got a picture of a dishwasher to show that it's dishwasher safe. And it says not suitable for microwave use. So there you go. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with the quality of that one. If you put him next to the Buzz Lightyear one, see the size difference. I think he, he is shorter. He isn't as wide either. He's got a smaller handle. Buzz's handle is much bigger. 
so yeah you definitely get more in the buzz one and the buzz seems much better painted as well okay i've got two other disney character mugs and these have already been unboxed because i've had these ones for quite a while so i'll show you the marie one so this is the marie one her box was similar i think to the flounder and the eeyore mug her box looked like that so this is marie and as you can see on her she has a little bit of pink here where the paintwork isn't great her eyes are really nice really painted her whiskers are painted on well you can see the brush strokes in her bow and on here but i actually think it looks really nice there's not too much of um of the paint going into the other bit I actually think she's actually a really good one there's hardly any flaws on her she's really really nice probably because there's not as much paintwork on her she is just really white and then there's a few bits of paint on there so it's just the nose bit really but yeah I picked up a good one I think with the Marie mug um she's quite large uh, I don't think she would say she's as large as this one I also think she's not as easy to drink from because of this bit but I just use them for display but yeah she's a really nice one there's not many flaws on her like there is with the others she again was six pounds but I think she has been reduced down to three pounds in some stores so if you did want to have a look see if she's been reduced but yeah she's probably my favorite one actually I really love her and the other one I have is the Funko one again I don't think there's too many flaws in this one there are a few um you can see i don't know if he's supposed to have two teeth but if you look it looks like he's only got one tooth i think he's supposed to have another one here i'll have to look at other mugs i'm not sure but anyway his nose has a few little notches in here so that's a little bit of a flaw there it's not too noticeable there's also a bit of gray paint in the nose here as well you can see the brush strokes on this bit here where it's a bit lighter this bit's nice and this bit is fine this bit doesn't seem to go into the white there's a little bit on this side where it has uh, but he's not too bad it's, that's the only real problem with him it looks quite big inside as well you get a decent cup of tea in there on the bottom of this one it just says copyright disney hand wash only not suitable for microwave use uh, did we look at the marie one i'm not sure if we did let's have a look so the bottom of the marie one it says copyright disney not suitable for microwave use and hand wash only yeah so these ones are hand wash only so these two are hand wash only the flounder and the eel one they can go in the dishwasher so let's have a look at them all together. We can fit them all in shot, I'm not sure we can. Yeah, so my favourite is definitely the Marie one followed by the Fumper one. Um, I do like the eel one, but he's not the best quality compared to the rest of them. Um, Genie and Buzz, I think, are nice. Um, they're not what I would pick. Um, I don't really, I'm not that keen on the Genie one. I do like the Buzz one. And the Flanders just got quite a lot of flaws on him. So, yeah, my favourite one is definitely Marie and Funka. So I do actually have two other character mugs from Primark. These are a bit of a different style to the others. And these are, of course, the chip mugs. So these are £5, not £6, but they are. They are a lot smaller than the other mugs. So this is the original chip mug. And he is beautiful. So he's got his little chip here. He's got gold for his handle. He's got gold around his edge. His paintwork is just so nice. And around the edge, you can see his paintwork. You can see the brush strokes, but it's really not too bad. He was just very well made. I think he does have, again, I don't know if you can see here, 
he has a little red spot in his glaze there so there are still a few little flaws but that's very minor you don't really see it he also has a little oh no that's just dust on that one yeah but that's the only real flaw he is very small you really wouldn't get much of a um drink in that plus he is slanted as well so i think he is really more for display purposes so on the bottom of him see there it says disney copyright disney not suitable for microwave use and hand wash only so i think he is probably one of my favorites he sits up on my shelf with mrs potts and a few other um chip mugs as well so yeah the next one is of course the newest one the chip bubble mug again he's super super cute the paintwork on him is actually very very good uh, he's like nearly perfect so there he has his little chip his little face is really nice he's got a big rosy cheeks he's got the gold rims just a little bit of a flaw there but yeah he's bigger inside so you can probably get more in him and he's got his bubbles on the back so yeah he's a really beautiful mug and he's just five pounds and there's the two together really really cute yes yeah, so let me know which is your favorite one down in the comments and i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you again soon bye